2020 2.0. I feel like we need a 2.0 because <laughs> the first half wasn't so great. Right. We're going to work on that and maybe our mindset a little bit. We've got the expert here joining us, Angela Keelan, with Angela Keelan Coaching and Consulting. Boy, we're glad to see you today. Thanks nice for joining us. Nice to see you. Us. Hi. Hi. <laughs> so my goodness, one of the things that Angela does, of course, is work with people on, on mindset and really achieving what they want for their lives. And let's check in on the first six months of 2020 and mm -hmm. just talk about what you've seen in the coaching world. It's, it's been a doozy. Right. It has been. Uh, unexpected surprise for the year of, um, you know, the year, the be year began with us doing workshops on visioning and mm -hmm. what's your word of the year and how's your year going to go and then March rolled in and everything <laughs> got thrown yeah. out the window so to speak yeah. but what's amazing with clients and the people that I talk to mm -hmm. are is the resiliency in everyone and the positivity and the willingness yeah. to evolve and uh, work on accepting how life is and how life has changed mm -hmm. now that doesn't mean there hasn't been frustration uh, sometimes denial, um, being stuck, or refusing to change. But overall, people are, are realizing that um, there's an opportunity here to evolve in a way that is also fulfilling. And it's just a matter of how to get there. Oh, so Great. well said. You know. Yeah, and I'm hoping like this, like you said, brings out the better in people. <laughs> right. Um, since this has all shut us down in some terms yep. and, and going forward. Yeah. So in terms of planning though for the rest of 2020, how are yeah. you kind of coaching your clients now? Yes, yeah, so a lot of it is uh, determining where we're headed. Mm -hmm. We don't have a time frame on the opening of the world and how that's going to look. Things are indefinite. It continues to change. But we, what we know is that it does continue to change and that the old ways of being aren't working. Mm. So we really need to figure out how to let go of old ways of thinking, old ways of socializing mm -hmm. uh, to some degree, and old ways of uh, organizing our life yeah. and even working, how we are working. So people are continuing to bump up against how they have uh, lived. You know, I, well, I like it this way. You know, it's that whole change, mm -hmm. requiring to change. There's really no choice. And figuring out and accepting the fact that, okay, it's all gonna be great. It's gonna be great. Because yeah. we have to continue to manifest positivity and, mm -hmm. and good changes and not get mired in, um, you know, the way things were. You know, it's a really good point. And sometimes we have a, a difficult time, we can, we can say those things and we can kind of understand what you're saying, but getting somebody to help us move ourselves there, I think is, is where you really come in, in, in giving us steps to get there because it's sometimes easier said than done, you mm -hmm. know, when you right. talk about like finding ways yeah. to be fulfilled, yeah. you know, especially for people right now, folks who are really social and thrive on being around people and that yeah. human interaction yeah. and love, <laughs> yeah. love, to, love to see folks I face understand. to face. <laughs> so let's talk a little bit about that because we're social distancing, we're supposed to be spending less time with people. How do we thrive socially if, if we're really social beings? Well, we really have to get innovative um, in how we do this and figure out how we can connect with other people and it, at times when we might not physically be able to see them. Yeah. We all realize that physical um, meetings is preferred. I mean, you just you experience the person in a much more authentic way. Mm -hmm. It seems more real. However, there are so many great ways to connect with people virtually. And that might require some people to get out of their comfort zone and maybe just give it a try um, because Virtual coffees, if you schedule virtual coffees, if you look at your group of friends and um, your professional network and you just take the reins and say, I am going to schedule a half an hour, an hour with this person because I really want to reconnect and um, see what's new. Yeah. Find out um, how we can work together or just stay in touch. And the same goes for your friendships. Uh, can we schedule, if we can't do an outdoor event or some safe event, can we schedule a virtual healthy happy hour? Or 
or a book and sip wine event. You know, what can yeah. we do to really make it fun? I just scheduled some time with some friends to learn how to make pies. I know that sounds funny. Oh, I love like that. <laughs> I would have never done that. Right. Um, but I mean, that's just something play like silly. Mm. Like, I have friends who know how to do that, and they're amazing. I thought, well, can we do this by Zoom? So anyway, it's just something new that I would have never done. Thanks for joining us. Today. Thank you so Thank much. You. Nice to appreciate see you. it. I'll yep. be right back after the break.